Okay, so we have completed our Wavepoint AI system. Now in this video, we will add our opponent car. So for doing that, let's click on the folder and right here in the prefabs, as you can see, we have different cars. Let's add this stranger car right there. Okay, and let me actually for now delete the work points. Let's click on that and click on prefab and pack completely. And then in here, let's create an empty game object by the name of body. And also let's create another game object by the name of wheels. Let's put all of the wheels in there and the body in there. Okay. So now we have the car right there. Let's rename this to opponent car. Okay, it looks good. Now let's create a script for this opponent car. So right here in the scripts, we will create a new C sharp script by the name of opponent car. Let's click on this and let's attach the script there open this up and in here let's delete the functions and at the top let's add a header by the name of car moving or actually let's name this as car engine and in here we will create a public float by the name of moving speed and then let's create another float by the name of turning speed and this will be equals to 50 up by default and then we need a public float by the name of brake speed which will be equals to 12 up and that's it and then let's add another header by the name of destination variable and in here we will create a public vector 3 in which we will give the destination direction to the opponent car and then the player will move between that destination okay and then we need a pool which will be by the name of destination reached so now let's first of all give the destination to the opponent car so for that we will create a public world by the name of locate destination and in here we will take a parameter which will be vector 3 destination and we will simply set this dot destination to the destination vector 3 which is right there okay and then we will set the destination reached equals to false now at the top let's create a public void by the name of drive and inside this function now we will move the opponent car so we will check that if the opponent car dot position is not equals to the destination okay it means that if the opponent car didn't reach the destination and the destination will be the waypoints okay so if you didn't reach the destination then we will create a vector 3 by the name of destination direction and this will be equals to destination minus transform dot position and then we will set the destination direction dot y to zero let's create a float by the name of destination direction and this will be equals to destination direction dot magnitude okay so now in here we will check that if we reach 
the destination or not so if we didn't reach the destination for that we will say that destination direction equals uh, greater than or equals to the brake speed okay so if we didn't reach the destination then the test duration reached will be set to false and then we want to move the opponent car towards the destination and as I told you the destination will be the waypoint so right here first say containment dot look station and that will be the destination direction and then we will say transform dot rotation equals to contrarian dot rotate towards let me type the code and then I will explain to you how what this will do okay so we want to rotate it towards the target rotation okay that one and then the turning angle will be the turning speed and we will multiply that by time dot delta time to make it time dependent and then at the end we will move the vehicle towards the destination so we will say transform dot translate and then we will say vector 3 dot forward of course the vehicle moves in the forward direction and then we will move dependent on the moving speed and that will be dependent then by the time dot delta time okay and then in the else block if he reaches the destination then the destination reached will be set to true and then as you can see when we are locating the destination right here we say that if the destination is reached then we will set this destination reach to false and then when this becomes equals to false then we will find a new destination and the vehicle will move towards that destination and then we move the whole vehicle so right here first of all we say that if the destination is not reached or not set then we find a destination right here and then when we find the destination and we check that if the destination is somewhere right here and the car is right here so we need to rotate the vehicle towards the destination so for that what we do we say that if the destination direction is greater than or equals to the brake speed okay it means that if the destination is right here then what we will do we will set first of all set the destination reach to false then we will rotate the vehicle right here okay we will rotate it first of all we will stop the vehicle and then we will rotate the vehicle and when the rotation is done then we simply move the vehicle towards the destination okay and when he reaches there then the opponent car will search for the next destination and then it will move towards that destination so basically this code is the steering of the vehicle and then this is for moving the vehicle so now you can say that our car can move to the left and right he can also stop if he wants and then we can move the vehicle as well now we didn't tell the vehicle that what is the destination and of course as I told you the destination will be the waypoints and guys change this to destination distance okay whoops let me go back let's select this one okay and change this to distance then copy that and right here we will say that if the destination distance is greater than or equals to the brake speed and right here change this to destination reached okay not destination direction 
and now if we check our opponent car right here we can add the moving speed let's add the moving speed for example 5 this will be the turning speed and the braking speed and for now we didn't add the destination to the opponent car again now the opponent car does not know that what is the destination so the car will not move if we play the game as you can see and this car will actually move because we have added the moving speed and all of that but this opponent car will not know that what is the destination so it will just move to somewhere random in the environment okay so in order to make this com uh, component car move right here add update function and then in there call the drive function or method and now if you save it and play the game you will notice that the opponent car will now drive to some random location as you can see now the destination is not set but the car is just moving in the forward direction as you saw he just stopped there because he was stopped he just got stuck there as you can see so now in the next video we will tell this opponent car that what is this opponent car destination okay we have the destination variable set right here it is basically a vector 3. So we will do that in the next video.